The 1020 test is a new standard activity test for diesel hydrotreating catalysts. It's aimed at measuring the temperature required to make 10 ppm product sulfur on a 20% light cycle oil feed. Here we're showing some data from the test. The chart is product sulfur versus days on oil for the 12 day test. There are two curves. The red curve is for our benchmark catalyst, which is Albemarle's KF767. And the blue curve is a low activity catalyst that has an activity typical of end of cycle conditions for a diesel hydrotreater. Across the top of the chart, we're showing the test conditions. Starting on days one to three with a 0% light cycle oil feed. Then on day four, we bring in a 20% light cycle oil feed and stay on the 20% light cycle oil through the end of the test. The temperature starts at a low temperature, which is 644F or 340C. That's held for the first six days, two conditions. And then in the third condition, the temperature is increased to a middle range temperature and the final condition is run at a high temperature. Looking at the curve for the red catalyst, we see in the first condition the product sulfur lines out at around 20 ppm. Then when we bring in the 20 percent light cycle oil, the product sulfur goes up in response to the more difficult feed. When we raise to the mid-range temperature, the product sulfur comes down below 10 ppm and in the fourth condition high temperature it comes down further. The blue catalyst, low activity catalyst, has much lower activity at all the conditions of the test. Now what we've done here is we've taken the test result for day three of each of the four test conditions. So this is the same data except we're only showing the result for day three after the unit has lined out and we see again the red catalyst is much more active than the blue catalyst with lower product sulfur at all conditions. As we go from condition one to condition two, adding the 20 percent light cycle oil causes the product sulfur to go up substantially and then the product sulfur comes down as we increase the temperature to the mid-range temperature in condition three and then the high temperature in condition four. Now we'll take the data just from conditions 2, 3, and 4 on the 20 percent light cycle oil and chart that versus the temperature of those three conditions. So we have the product sulfur versus temperature curve for the red catalyst and the blue catalyst. Now with this curve we can interpolate along the curve to find the temperature that corresponds to 10 parts per million sulfur. So for example on the red catalyst 10 parts per million sulfur is right here that's 674 degrees F and for the blue catalyst it's a much higher temperature it would be around 710 degrees F that would be required to get to 10 ppm product sulfur on this low activity catalyst at the conditions of this test. Also we can see the horizontal separation of these two curves is an indication of the relative activity of the catalysts. In this case the difference is 38 degrees F or 21 degrees C difference in activity as measured in this test. So the 1020 test tells you the temperature required for 10 ppm sulfur. It tells you the effect of 20 percent LCO addition versus straight run feed and it ranks the catalyst versus industry's best catalysts in desulfurization activity and we haven't discussed it here but we also measure denitrogenation activity hydrogen consumption, and removal of 4,6 substituted dibenzothiophenes in the test. That's the 1020 test.